there, friends. I'm Miss Jane, and this is Miss Sarah. And today we thought we could pretend to be friendly astronauts. We're pretending that we're in outer space. Whoa! Oh, wow! It's so cool it's out of this world. And since we're pretending, I think we should pretend to dress up too. How about pretending to put on an astronaut suit? Yes. Does ours look just like the ones astronauts wear when they go into outer space? Oh, it totally does, Miss Sarah. Ooh. Raise your hand if you think being an astronaut would be a cool job. Me too. I would love to blast off in a rocket ship. Ooh, and see all the stars and visit the moon. Maybe even see other planets. That would be so cool. Plus, with my special radio, we can talk down to Earth. Psh. Oh, hello, Earth. Can you hear me? Hello down there, Earth. It's us, Miss Sarah and Miss Jane, astronauts from Engedi. Psh. We're up here in the stars. Oh. <laughs> That's so fun. I would love being an astronaut. <laughs> me too. That was really fun. <sighs> Okay, now that we're back from outer space, we're going to hear a super awesome, totally amazing, true story straight from the Bible. So today's true story from the Bible begins with a group of fishermen. <laughs> now, can you pretend to be fishermen with me? Let's all hold up our poles. Yes, and if you're ready for the story on the count of three, yell, let's go fishing. Okay. One, two, three. Let's, Let's go, go fishing! <laughs> Sounds like we're all ready. Yes. Hey, Engetti Kids. We are about to do our Engetti Kids chant. Are you ready? At Engetti Kids, we know that God created us extra special. And each week, we like to remember that we were created uniquely on purpose, with a purpose, to love God, serve others, and tell the world. If you know the motions, make sure you do them with me. We love God because he first loved us. So we say, love God and we point up. We can serve others to show God's love. So we say, serve others with our hands out, like we're giving a gift. Jesus wants to have a relationship with everyone, everywhere. So we say, tell the world and make a sermon. Are you ready? Let's practice. Love God. Serve others and tell the world. Let's try it one more time. Love God, serve others, and tell the world. Great job, everybody! It's true. 
Astronaut. My friends and I decorated the clubhouse to look like outer space. Isn't it amazing? We're playing out of this world! It's so cool. My mom got me this cool astronaut costume. It looks just like the ones astronauts wear when they go up into outer space. Raise your hand if you think being an astronaut would be a cool job. Me too. I'd love to blast off in a rocket ship and see all the stars, and visit the moon, and maybe even see other planets. That would be so cool. Plus, with my special radio, I could talk to people down on Earth. I would love being an astronaut. Who? Who? It's Ollie. Hello, Kai. Who? Who? Visiting outer space, are you? Hi, Ollie. I am. Astronauts get to do the best things. Astronauts are fantastic. It's true. But I know someone even more amazing. Who? Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Welcome to the Cupcake Food Truck. I'm Aisha. So good to see you today. Check out these amazing cupcakes. Ta-da! <laughs> They're my golden goldfish cupcakes. Because I have the most amazing story about the most amazing out of this world person. Can you guess who it is? Jesus! <laughs> That's right, it's Jesus. If you're ready for the story, on the count of three, yell, tell me a story. One, two, three, tell me a story. Okay, so today's true story from the Bible begins with these fishermen. They have been fishing all night and now they are cleaning their nets. I wonder how many fish they caught. Let's look in their boats. Do you see any fish? No. These guys had tried all night to catch fish, but came back without any fish. So sad. Just then, Jesus came to the shore and a crowd of people followed him. They wanted to hear Jesus's amazing teachings about how God loves them. But there were so many people and they kept getting closer and closer and closer. Jesus had no room to stand on the sand. So he asked Peter, the fisherman, if he could use his boat. Tell me, if Jesus asked you if he could come on your boat, would you say yes or no? Yes, me too. <laughs> so Jesus got in the boat and he taught the people about God. When he was finished teaching, he said to Peter, let's go fishing. Peter told Jesus that he had tried all night to catch fish and didn't catch a single one. But since Jesus asked, Peter agreed to try one more time. They let down their nets and waited. Tell me if you see any fish. <gasps> there's a fish. Wow. <gasps> there's another one. What's that? Even more fish. So many fish. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Look, there's so many fish. The nets are breaking. They even had to get another boat. Soon, they had two full boats of fish. Everyone was amazed. No one but the out of this world amazing Jesus could do that. Jesus is amazing and can do anything because Jesus is God's son. Did you like the story? 
If you did, give it two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. <laughs> hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who is amazing? Jesus is amazing. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who is amazing? Jesus is amazing. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. Bye. So there's your story. And it's all true. Jesus helped his friends catch lots of fish. Jesus is amazing. Who? Who? Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Who? Who? Wow, Jesus helped his friends catch enough fish to fill two whole boats. Jesus is so amazing. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good. I'm going to fly my rocket back up into outer space and think of all the amazing things that Jesus did. Ready for liftoff. See ya! Everyone who heard him was amazed. Luke 2, 47. Everyone who heard him was amazed. Luke 2, 47. I got the story. If you got the story, say aye aye, Captain. Did you get it? <gasps> aye, aye aye, Captain. Captain. <laughs> Excellent. Now let's pretend to put on our helmets. It's time to fly to our rocket ship back to space and thank God for all the amazing stuff that Jesus did. Ready? <laughs> Jesus, you can do anything. We know that you are God's son, and thank you for loving us and choosing to be our forever friend. We love you, Jesus, and in it's your name that we pray. Amen. See you next week. was amazing. I think I got the story. If you got the story, say aye aye, Captain. Did you get it? Aye aye, aye Captain. <laughs> Excellent. Now let's pretend to put our helmets on and fly back to our rocket ship back to space and thank God for all the amazing stuff that Jesus did. Miss Jane, will you pray for us? Yes. Jesus, you can do anything, and we know that you are God's son. Thank you for loving us and choosing to be our forever friends. We love you so much, Jesus, and it's in your name that we pray. Amen! Amen.